Good morning from Barbados. Today, I am headed to one of the island's most well-known beaches, which is the Crane Beach, which is located in St. Philip, or St. Philip. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rockin' if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me. Now, sitting beneath the Crane Resort, which we've been staying at over the last few days, and at the foot of rocky cliffs, the Crane is a magnificent peach. And you actually get to the beach by taking either this elevator or these stairs, if you're coming from the Crane. Now, every beach in Barbados is a public beach, so you don't actually have to go to the crane or take the elevator or the stairs, as there are other access points to the beach. Anyone can come here. You don't have to be staying at the crane. But we are now out on the world famous crane beach. You can see it is an absolutely lovely day out here. Very sunny, and it's very windy on this beach. One thing you should know. <laughs> we have spent a lot of time out here lounging and relaxing underneath the umbrellas over the last few days. So really grateful that it is complimentary and included. And I personally have spent a ton of time playing out in the water. Having lived in the Northeast for a time, I don't really mind it, but the waves can be very big and the current can be very strong. So definitely want to watch out if you are playing in the waters. I did feel myself getting pulled out once by a current. Uh, kind of freaked me out, but I was able to get out of it, thank goodness. So just be careful if you're out here in these waves, especially if you're not used to swimming and anything that's like this. Because normally when you go on a Caribbean vacation, the water tends to be pretty still. It's not like, you know, breaking waves after one after another. I have a fun little fact for you. The Crane Beach actually gets its name because this used to be a harbor. And when the ships would come in, there was a big crane sitting at the top of the cliffs that would get the freight or whatever off of them. So that's where this gets its name, the Crane Beach. And yes, you see there's a lot of like seaweed out here today. It's been there the entire time we've been here, unfortunately, but it hadn't been too big of a deal. They, I think they groom it on a daily basis. One of my favorite things about this beach is this cliff side, which you could actually walk along. You can see the walkway path right here. It goes up and around. I do recommend wearing like shoes or some sort of footwear on this because it is a little bit rocky. It kind of hurts. <laughs> my favorite part of this beach and the resort is coming up here. The view is absolutely stunning, obviously, and the waves up here, they crash against this. They said water racing over top of the rocks. If you're an expert swimmer, I know what you might be thinking. Hey, I want to dive here. I don't blame you. I've already seen people do it. They do have no diving signs up here, just a heads up. I personally would do it. Like I said, I've seen people do it. Yeah, I haven't done that, unfortunately, but maybe next time. One thing you'll notice is that on the other side of this cliff, as opposed to the crane, the surf is very, very rough. Just look at that. Breathtaking and somewhat terrifying, right? You wouldn't want to be caught up in those rocks. <laughs> oh, here comes the wave. So we are currently headed to the opposite side of the crane beach. That is where you'll find yet another walkway which follows the coast. And I also failed to mention this beach has a hint of pink in it. It may look pretty white right now, but at night, trust me, the pink really shines bright. And if you get down into it and start looking at the sand during the daytime, you'll be able to see that hint of pink, but it's really vibrant at night. All right, so you have the cliffs over there, the crane, there's your beach chair, and then that walkway is right here. So it's literally on the opposite side. Now this little walkway will lead you to yet another beach. I don't know if this is a continuation of the crane beach or if it's its own separate thing, but I wanted to let you know that it's here. You can see there's a couple people out and about enjoying it walking, getting in the water. Now, if you're here in Barbados and you're coming to the Crane, I highly recommend you stick around until the sun starts to set because it is beautiful out here at night. 
as the sun setting the the sand on the crane beach it turns you know you can see that pink it's really vibrant it's very beautiful it's very picturesque you got the crane looming over the beach it's just very very beautiful well that is going to wrap it up from me at the crane beach here in barbados if you want to see more videos on barbados i've got several links to those are in the description below and hey if you love travel and you're new here consider subscribing i post new videos every single monday thanks so much guys until next time